In this example, we're asked to simplify without negative exponents. So here we have a negative exponent outside of the bracket. So what I'm going to do, since the negative exponent affects everything that's inside the bracket, I'm going to turn that into a positive exponent using the negative exponent rule to get p negative 2 q 2 r to the fourth p cubed q squared on the top now and then I have on the bottom negative 2 q p to the negative 2 r cubed and now all of that is to the positive 2 or squared. The next thing I want to do is to gather up or simplify everything that's on top. So we see we have a few p's and a few q's. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to gather up my p's and my q's and I'm going to get p using the multiplication rule p to the negative 2 plus 3 q to the 2 plus 2 r to the fourth and all of this is over negative 2 q p to the negative 2 r cubed and this is going to be squared. So now I have on the bottom here it looks like I don't have any repetition so there's no more simplification. So now I'll just put it all together up here and I'll get p to the first power or just p q to the fourth r to the fourth all over negative 2 q p negative 2 r cubed and all of this is squared but we still have a negative 2 exponent down here so now we're going to use the quotient rule to get rid of that negative exponent. So we have p to the 1 minus minus 2, since p is essentially p to the 1, q to the 4th, r to the 4th, all over negative 2, q r cubed and this entire thing is squared. So now we have all of our exponents and I'll just put this one together. p to the third since a negative and a negative is a positive. q to the fourth r to the fourth over negative 2 q r cubed all squared. So now we have everything in terms of positive exponents but we're still not finished. So what we have to do now to in order to completely simplify this because we still have q's and r's that we have to simplify. So we rewrite p cubed q to the fourth r to the fourth all over negative 2 q and I'll put it to the first power r cubed, all of this squared. And I use the quotient rule 
to simplify the Q's and the R's. So I end up with P cubed Q 4 minus 1 R 4 minus 3 all over negative 2 squared. And then I continue P cubed Q cubed R to the 1 all over negative 2 squared. But I still have to square everything that's inside the bracket. So I use the exponent rule to do this for the top, for the variables here. And I end up with P 3 times 2 Q 3 times 2 R 1 times 2 all over negative 2 squared. Now remember this affects everything in the brackets so I also must square that. So then putting everything together I get P to the 6, Q to the 6, R squared all over 4, and this is our final answer. Reviewing what we just did, we rewrite as a positive exponent outside the bracket by flipping inside the bracket. And that's what we did to get this. Then we use the product rule inside the brackets and use the quotient rule to bring the negative exponents from the denominator. And then we got this. Finally, we multiply in the exponent using the exponent rule and simplify using product and quotient rules. And there we get our final answer, p to the sixth q to the 6th, r squared over 4, as we did before. Thank you. I hope you found this video useful, and goodbye for now.